hi everyone and welcome back again to my channel thank you for staying tuned thank you for subscribing in today's video i'm going to talk about pumping and storing frozen breast milk i hope at the end of this video you'll be informed and let's interact in the comment section at some point during your breastfeeding experience you may need to pump or express your breast milk if you are not going to use it right away you can store your milk to use in the future the reasons for collecting and freezing your breast milk and women express breast milk for many reasons when you collect expressed breast milk correctly you can freeze and store it for six months or even longer you may choose to pump and freeze your breast milk if you're returning to work or school but you would like your child to continue to receive your breast milk or if you need to relieve pain and swelling of breast engorgement you may also want to express your breast milk to create a supply of breast milk to use when you are no longer breastfeeding and you may also want to slow down a forceful let down reflex or a fast flow of breast milk you may also want to express your breast milk if you would like to provide your baby with breast milk when you are not with him or her so how do we go about freezing the breast milk so if you're pumping breast milk for a premature baby or donating to a milk bank the collection and storage process may be more strict so it's good to ask the hospital staff or the representative at the milk bank for the proper collection and storage guidelines to follow so i'm going to give a step-by-step -step instructions for collecting and freezing breast milk that you plan to use at home for your healthy full-time baby first choose your collection container when you're planning to freeze your breast milk be sure you choose a container that can withstand the freezing and thawing process there are many different types of containers that can be used to store breast milk including breast milk storage bags plastic bottles glass containers and breast milk trays when you're selecting the container that's right for you think about how long you plan to keep your breast milk in storage because some some breast milk storage bags for example are mainly designed for freezing and can be stored flat and then stacked which saves a lot of space however you should not choose a regular plastic sandwich bags that can leak and break glass and hard steel and hard plastic will give your breast milk the best protection if you plan to store your milk for a longer time whichever container you choose it should be clean bpa free and safe for the storage of food depending on the amount of breast milk that you're able to pump you may need to have additional collection containers ready so gather your supplies if you are hand expressing your breast milk or all you need is a clean collection container if you're pumping you should prepare your pump pump flanges tubing and collection containers all of your pumping supplies should be clean and dry to prevent any bacteria from entering your breast milk as you pump also label your breast milk container before you begin to express your breast milk into the storage bag or container you should label it with the date and time of the collection it's important to wash your hands as always always wash your hands be before you begin to pump express or handle your breast milk any germs on your skin can get into your breast milk as you are collecting it so the best way to prevent contamination is by keeping everything as clean as possible use a breast pump or a hand expression technique to remove the breast milk from your breast and place it into your breast milk storage container if you use a breast pump pump for about 10 minutes on each side hand expression takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes don't overfill your storage container if you're using the same collection container to collect and store the breast milk be sure not to fill it all the way to the top because breast milk expands while in the freezer so it needs the extra room on the top if you fill the container to the brim 
it can burst. Therefore, you should stop adding breast milk to the container when it's approximately two third or three quarter full. If you still have more to pump, go on to a second container. If you are pouring your breast milk from the collection container into a different storage container, complete the collection of your breast milk, then pour your milk into the storage containers. Do not fill the storage containers to the top. Your breast milk needs that room to expand while in the freezer. See the storage container. Once you put the desired amount of breast milk into the container, seal it with the proper airtight zipper seal or cap. It's good to know that a bottle nipple cannot provide an airtight seal. So you shouldn't use a nipple when you're storing your bottles in the freezer. Freeze your breast milk. Place your breast milk into the freezer as soon as possible after you collect it. The recommendation is to store your milk towards the back of the freezer where it's typically the coolest. If you put your breast milk in the refrigerator first, freeze it within 24 hours. And if a refrigerator or a freezer is not available, you can put your milk in an insulated cooler with frozen ice packs for up to 24 hours and then freeze it. The type of freezer you have will determine how long you can store your frozen breast milk. A freezer, at, a freezer attached to a refrigerator with its own door, breast milk can, store in a, can be stored in a standard side by side or top and bottom refrigerator or freezer unit for up to six months. A freezer compartment within a refrigerator, breast milk can be stored in a freezer compartment inside a refrigerator for up to two weeks for approximately two weeks a stand alone freezer breast milk can be stored in a deep freezer without a defrost cycle for up to one year if your child goes to a babysitter or a daycare ask about their breast milk policy when labeling your breast milk with the date and time, don't forget to include your name and your baby's name. I'm going to give tips on throwing frozen breast milk. When it's time to use your frozen breast milk, follow the guidelines for the safe throwing and warming of breast milk. It's good to check the dates. Though the oldest collection within the guidelines first, once frozen breast milk is thawed out, you should not refreeze it. To safely thaw frozen breast milk, you can place it in the refrigerator overnight. For a quicker thaw, you can place it in a container of warm water or hold it under running warm water. You should not thaw your breast milk at room temperature. You can use defrosted breast milk right away or place it in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours. And you should not defrost or warm breast milk in the microwave or a pot of boiling water on the stove. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was informative. See you in the next one.